Hello, my name's Melissa, and I'm the docent coordinator at Point Lobo State Natural Reserve. And this is docent Stan. Stan's been a docent here for over 22 years. Together, we're going to explore the many trails here at Point Lobos. We will also highlight the trails that are wheelchair and stroller accessible. And I'd like to mention that there is parking in the reserve. A $10 entrance fee is charged per car. But on a busy day, you can park your car outside the entrance and hike in for free. We limit the number of cars in the reserve to protect the coast from erosion and to preserve the natural beauty you will find here. I'm one of the oldest active docents here, and I have had some health problems over the past few years, so I need these poles to get around and maintain my stability while I walk around the reserve. And because of that, we're going to talk about my, one of my favorite subjects is the ADA trails. ADA stands for American Disabilities Act. One of the nice things about these trails is that there you can walk with your friends. Uh, they're wide enough so that you can uh, talk and, and have a good time. Some of the trails we'll be looking at today uh, are perfect for people with mobility challenges, including people that require a, a uh, wheelchair to get around. Uh, some of my favorite trails is what we're going to see today. We're standing at the entrance to the Carmelo Meadow Trail, which is one of our uh, ADA trails here. So Stan, let's take some time to talk about some of these trails in detail. Okay. Well, what's a trail? I guess that's the first question. Trails are usually well marked with one of these uh, posts here to show you the name of the trail it's on. It's usually wide enough so that people can walk side by side and pass each other easily on the trails. It's very important to stay on the trails. One thing a trail is not, if you happen to go run across a, uh, a small narrow path where you, you're likely to step on grasses or other plants, that's not a trail, that's not, that's not a legal place to go. Okay, so let's take a walk down Carmelo Meadow Trail to Whaler's Cove. This is an ADA trail that is wheelchair and stroller accessible. You'll find a beautiful path that winds through the pine forest and ends at Whaler's Cove. Melissa, let's go check out another trail just across the street. This, is, this, this trail was most recently converted into an uh, ADA trail. And it's a wonderful trail for people like me, but also for anybody who walks in. This, this will take you all the way out to Sea Lion Point and other wonderful, desirable locations out in that area. One nice thing about this trail is it's a walk through the pine forest. It's much better than walking out on the road. It's safer and more, more uh, delightful to, to walk on. So we're going to walk a little ways down this trail just to give you an idea of what it's like. Many places there in the reserve, there's poison oak right here along this trail. And you don't have to worry about it because the trail is plenty wide. You don't have to walk into the poison oak. Here we are at the entrance to Sea Lion Point Trail. This is a great place to observe the marine mammals and the many birds that live in our coast. The upper loop is a new ADA trail and is wheelchair and stroller accessible. Listen, look, and observe quietly. You might find sea otters resting in the kelp or harbor seals basking on low rocks. Can you hear the barking of the California sea lions on the rocky island offshore? And on a clear day, you might see the spouts of gray whales migrating along our coast. Hey, Melissa, did you know this is the first ADA trail here at Point Lobos? It means a lot to me, and I, like, I, I enjoy it. It's one of the trails I can do very easily. Now we're at the north end of the South Shore Trail. The rugged hiker would have good access to more trails as we walk down the South Shore Trail. So now we're just up from the beginning of the start of the Bird Island Trail. Stan, is it time for lunch? You betcha. <laughs> Bird Island is one of the three picnic areas in the reserve. The other two are Piney Woods and Whaler's Cove. Enjoy your lunch in one of these picnic areas to help protect our resident wildlife from human food. Stan, I heard a rumor that this is one of your favorite trails. I think that rumor is exactly correct. <laughs> okay. I love to come out here. I get out here at least once a week, and I love watching the birds. When, it was, when the harbor seals were giving birth to their babies, uh, I, I loved interpreting 
them to the people mm -hmm. up there on the trail. Many of our visitors ask about the Loop Trail. What is the Loop? The Loop is not a posted trail, but it is a six mile route that will allow you to explore the many ecosystems in the reserve from the entrance to the exit. Take a look at the map and see if you can find the Loop. We have explored some of my favorite trails and I hope some of them are your favorites too. What trail do you see that you would like to walk with your family? And what can you do in your community to connect and protect with Mother Nature. Thanks. Come visit us and look for a docent like me in a green jacket or vest. We'd love to hear what you have experienced hiking here at Point Lobos State Natural Reserve. Please remember to leave your pets at home and we look forward to seeing you here on the trails at Point Lobos.